Hello and welcome to this demonstration of using Insight Control server provisioning. Uh, what we're going to do over the next 15-20 minutes is to use the ICSP appliance to deploy an operating system to a physical server blade. So first thing I need to do is to go into vCenter. As you can see, I've got the vCenter open already. And there is my ICSP appliance. It's powered off right now. So I shall right click it and power power on. So that's going to take a while to come up. While that's coming up, uh, I'm just going to go and look at my target blade that I'm going to install to. I'd like it powered off before I do the install. So I've logged in to the ILO on the target blade and I can see that the power is currently off. If the power was on, um, just to save myself some potential issues later on, I would make sure that that blade had been powered off. Okay, so we just need to wait for the ICSP appliance to come up. So looking at the console tab for the ICSP appliance, I can see that it's in a starting state. So before we can log into it, it's going to have to finish its boot procedure. So we'll pause the video and return in a short while. Okay, so the ICSP appliance is now up and running. So we will log in. And we have no servers under the control of ICSP at the moment. So I just click Add Server. And I need to add the ILO IP address. Username. And password. And click Add. So this job's going to take about 10 minutes, so we will pause the video and return when the server's been added. Okay, and here we are after 7.7 .7 minutes. We've been taken to the ICSP job screen, and we can see that our add server job has completed successfully. So this uh, server has now been brought under the control of ICSP. Just as a matter of interest, I've created a remote console onto that uh, blade, and I can see that it's been booted to HP Intelligent Provisioning, which is what it should be doing. So now I'm going to go to Servers. And I've selected the server that's just been brought under control of ICSP in the previous step. And I click Actions, Run OS Build Plan. And what I plan to do here is to erase the server before we install an operating system on it. So in the OS build plans box. I click add and I'll do a search for erase and Proline hardware erase server is the job I want. Click add and then OK. It's going to prompt me. Do you really want to run this? Yes, I do. That's going to take a few minutes to complete that job. So We'll pause the video and we'll see you shortly. Okay, here we are back at the job screen. We can see after approximately 19 minutes, this server has been completely erased. So back on the server screen. We're going to run another OS build plan. And this time we're going to create a RAID 1 array. Uh, on our smart array on the blade. So we're going to click OS build plan add and in the search box type in RAID Plant Harbor Smart Array set RAID 1 that's what I want and add and then OK. Yes I do want to run this. So this is going to create a RAID 1 logical disk on the server. It's going to take a few moments to do that, so we'll pause the video and we'll come back shortly. And here we are after just over 10 minutes. We've got the uh, smart array configured with the logical drive in RAID 1. And now what I'm going to do next is to install an operating system on this blade. Do it a slightly different way than previously. I click on the main menu and OS build plans. So I'm going to select my ProLine OS Windows 2012 
R2 standard X64 scripted install. And actions run OS build plan. I need to add my server. So select it, click add, click OK. Yes, run. So it's submitting the job. Now this job is going to take 25 to 30 minutes to complete. So we'll pause the video and we'll see you shortly. And here we are at a little over 26 minutes. The Perlant OS Windows 2012 R2 Standard X64 scripted install has completed successfully. If I take a look at the remote console, uh, certainly looks like Windows Server 2012 R2 to me. So what we've done in this short demo is to erase a Proline blade. We then configured the uh, local drive to be a RAID 1 drive using a separate build plan. And then we finished off uh, installing Windows 2012 R2 onto that drive. Um, and that concludes this ICSP demo.